basketball fans, welcome back onto the couch. This is the Hangout, Canada's home for talking hoops. I am Akil Augustine, as always. Dan Gladman, the producer of the Raptors broadcast, joins me to talk all the hot topics around the NBA. This is the comedian Tricks. This is a, a very funny individual and someone who is going to say some racy <laughs> stuff today. I don't know. Am doubt. I going to say racy stuff? <laughs> and then, of course, there's a super producer, one of my best friends in the world, someone I got a lot of love for, Dwayne Sweets Watson, back. Yeah. Spent a little time in St. Kitts, but he's back, finally oh, joining us. Thank you for sh cutting your vacation short to join us on the couch. Always a pleasure. Let's jump into it, of course, on uh, the Hangout. We always do some big game hunting. We're looking for the big games around the league, of course. Last night, it got no bigger than the two and the three seed in the Western Conference matching up the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Los Angeles Clippers. And at some point on their road to a potential championship, these teams may match up. So let's get to the tape and see how it broke down. It was a tight affair going into the fourth quarter. Dan, I'll start with you. You're looking at both these teams, two teams hoping to pick up some slack and join the elite of the NBA, hopefully maybe challenge the Spurs for a championship run. Your impressions of what went down, of course, we know that the Westbrook-led Thunder came out with the W. Well, I think Westbrook had a great game. He was dominant in the first half. I think Durant is still going to dominate uh, if those two teams had to play. I think, I think OKC is a better team. They showed it last night. And if it comes down to a playoff series, I think Westbrook is going to run circles around Chris Paul. So no one's buying, them buying the changes that the Clippers have done? Because, I mean, Granger, big baby, no. the addition of the Doc Rivers kind of guy. Too much, too much oh. tinkering. Too much tinkering. Right? Granger, big baby, Reddick. Yep. Um, what's that guy? Dudley? <laughs> what's that guy? That, that's who Dudley what's is that? now. He's a what's that guy. Turkaloo. Like, look yeah. at all the – how can you tinker with greatness? If you've got a good team that's almost – they were they had a – how many wins they had? Over 50 wins last yes. year. And now they've revamped the team to try and get better to combat – But did you have faith in that version of, a, of that 50 wins? Were you comfortable with last year's Clippers? No. Uh, no. No, yeah, and, and, but but I'm but I'm way more confident in this year's Clippers, and I'm not saying I I, I don't think they beat the Thunder in a seven game series. I don't see that happening, but as long as Westbrook is healthy, and that's the key for me for the Thunder to go anywhere in these playoffs is they need Westbrook. As much as we all are, the Clippers on the have rent, the greatest point guard in the league. I mean, not. Chris Paul is great, but I just I just don't see them going too far. I, I think Chris Paul's greatness is dependent on the other guys making those shots. I believe so, too. And I think that when you're looking at Durant and Westbrook, they don't really depend on that. Like, they're going to create the shots and make the shots for themselves. Yeah. So I think that's a bit bankab more bankable. Now let's talk about Kevin Durant, Dan. <laughs> He's pretty much locked up this MVP race with, uh, what is it now? Oh. It was 41 games with 25-plus points. That is an insane street streak. We, we've, no, been, wait, 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 wait. we've been talking about it for weeks. Yes, yeah. locked. I, someone, I think, has some. Locked. I don't know if it's locked, man. And, oh. uh, wait, what? This do, competition listen, for MVP? Do I, do I want him to win? I, he's, he's for, he for sure should win. It's for in the hands sure. of the media and the league, but and you don't think it'll come down to KD? It, it, he should win this year. But unfortunately, and as much as you hate to admit it, he's still, you know, LeBron still... Is, is, no. is mentioned in the no. conversation. This is, he he doesn't win this year, though. No, he's no. a comedian, right? Kevin, I, he's a I'm comedian, not right? To make you laugh. Kevin Durant. You are. You are down. Down. If you're asking you're me, hands down, Kevin Durant is the MVP of this league. Yeah. Hands down. But stop acting like LeBron's not in the conversation. Well, LeBron stop. is always in the conversation. He is fantastic. Is Blake Griffin what? in the conversation? Doc Rivers said that Blake Griffin is right behind Kevin Durant. I don't know about that. I'm sorry. Yo, Kim Noah's in the conversation. I mean, it's a <laughs> conversation <laughs> that we can have. But here's one thing that people keep forgetting. There is a historical voting procedure with the, M with the NBA MVP and the voters, who, who mostly are the media, they just don't want to give it to a guy four years, five years in a row. It's Durant's turn. He's been second to LeBron before. I think he is a mortal so, loss for MVP. That opinion, though, I, I totally agree. For so many reasons. He's the third MVP, and he didn't. But I agree. But you, do you think he's right. going to get it because Nobody's of the vote, a of voter apathy, or he actually deserves it? Both. I okay. think it, it's just lined up. He's had he's had the most outstanding season of anyone right. in the league this year, I and the voters that. are just lined up to give it to him this year. All right. If he doesn't get it, it's a travesty. It, it is agreed. A it will be a travesty. It's trophy that you call that will remind you. If LeBron wins, I just don't call me. All right. <laughs> just there were more big games in the NBA. Of course, we had the number one team to start out the night, the Miami Heat, in the Eastern Conference, playing the Memphis Grizzlies. And that impacted the Indiana Pacers. We got to talk about the Pacers later on in the show. There's still more to come here on the Hangout. Up next, we talk about some NCAA action. The UConn men's basketball team are national champs. We break that down when we return on the Hangout. 